go surfing across this water in a minute, just to see if there's anything in the centre. Okay, another Graveler. Okay, no problem for Torterra. Uh, I hate the fact that Razor Leaf has that slight chance of missing, but... Eh, whatever, it's not as if Torterra sustained any major damage. Blimey, that was quick. Ugh. Okay, I might have to put on the superpower, especially as it all just seems to be Graveler right now. I mean, this is alright to do a bit of off-camera training, just based on Graveler, because they do give a decent amount of experience points, but... I don't know. I think I'd just rather concentrate on exploring, especially as at the moment, all I'm seeing is Graveler around here. I'm not seeing any other Pokemon right now. It's kind of boring down here. Come on, surprise me, game. Also, was there anything behind that particular rock? Nope. But there was something here. And then again, we are going to go surfing in a minute. Might as well see what kind of water Pokemon appear around here. I think there's something here. A blue shard. Alright. Plenty of shards. Also, a lot of Oh, that's right, I uh, put gold on storage, but that's fine, I can still teach uh, Surf to be barrel because you've still got a move to spare, so kind of forgot about Surf, so yeah, this is just, this shows just how annoying Mount Coronet is, all these HMs you need to get round here. I'm glad that, I, I'm glad later Pokemon games they change it so you don't have to rely on HMs, because... Man, I forgot how annoying this is. <laughs> this is so annoying. Oh well, might as well uh, teach Surf to uh, be barrel for now. And straight into a water type Pokemon. Question is, is there a Pokemon enough? Oh, you're not even a water type Pokemon. That's false advertising. That's me serving across here. <laughs> no, 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 no. I am not in the mood for a Zubat. And you know what? Screw it. I'm just going to put the. Uh, I'm going to put the uh, Super Repel on there. And let's see if there's any items to be found in these random rocks. They just seem to be suspiciously placed there. There is an item here. Let's see what's this. Uh, Max Elixir. Alright, that's fine. I'll take the Max Elixir. Uh, anything else down here? Well, there's an item all the way over there. There's an item here. Uh, ooh, Light Clay. Light Clay. What does that do? I... Cannot remember what light play is. Oh, extends duration of barrier moves like light screen and reflect. Okay, meh, probably not really going to use that, but uh, extra item regardless. Anything else down here? I guess there's no items in these little random rocks. That's disappointing. Oh well. So, just a little thing now. We don't need to go up that way. Uh, anything here? There is another star piece. Okay. Actually, was up there a dead end, or did that carry on? That does carry on. Ah, it goes up. Okay. Uh, there is something here, apparently. Uh, above me. A rare candy. Wow, that's a random place just to drop some rare candy. Really? Nothing in that corner? Hmm. Kind of an odd arrangement there, but whatever. Right, we're not going to go up those stairs just yet. Instead, let's just push that out the way. Grab myself a revive. Always useful to have uh, plenty of revives. There was also an item all the way down here, wasn't there? I'm just going to use the Iron Finder just in case. Nope, looks like there's nothing in the walls. So let's just use Rock Smash and grab whatever this item is. Oh, and another Rock Smash uh, rock to deal with because, of course, there is. <laughs> One wasn't enough. Ooh, I will take the full restore, though. Don't really need to worry about uh, full restore for now. Also, I'm just going to use uh, a super repel for now, but I'm probably going to stop using them fairly soon. No, that's a max repel. I'll save off from using the max repels for a little bit. Because right now, the Pokemon that are appearing around this area is kind of disappointing, but whatever. Let's uh, go up the stairs. Item? No. Anything in the walls? No. Disappointing. Ooh, a cave entrance. But there is something. A yellow shard. So we got something through there. Let's just quickly see. Oh, that looks like the actual exit. Oh, that was a lot quicker. Can I? I wonder if I can see where I am on the map. Let's have a quick look. Let's have a look at the map. No, it just says round about there, which doesn't really help. All right, let's have a quick peek outside. Let's see what's out here. Right, Route 216. Okay, so that's the route towards Snow Point, but we're not going to go that way just yet. So yeah, it's that beginning of that route. Oh, nice. 
Ooh, things are going to get a little bit chilly out there, but we're not done just yet because there's a little cave here. With never melt ice. Just a gigantic room with that. Huh. Okay. Fair enough. Fine. Whatever. Uh, right. Let's just have a quick look. What was that one? Never melt ice, presumably. Yep. Repels heat and boosts ice type moves. Oh, that'll be perfect when I evolve Eevee into a Glaceon. But yeah, looks like we're done inside Mount Coronet. So I'll tell you what. Now would probably be a good time to train up Rapidash a little bit. And uh, it's time to get out into uh, the chilliness of the outdoors here. Ooh, it's cold here. Loving the snow. Nice change in climate. Uh, so let's take the upper path mile as well. Is there anything at the end here? Looks a bit suspicious. Yes, there is. Uh, I'm standing on it, aren't I? PP up. All right, cool. I'll save that for later. Repels effect wore off. That's fine because I kind of want to see what kind of Pokemon appear around here. Hopefully a good variety of new Pokemon. Oh yeah, I forgot about Sneasel. Oh dang, I forgot about Sneasel. Ice-type Sneasel. As well as um, the fact that you're also a Dark-type Pokemon. Ooh. I kind of forgot about Sneasel. I'm going to see if I can capture it. Hail continues to fall. I'm buffeted by the hail, despite the fact I'm a fire type. I should be able to just melt the hail <laughs> as soon as, before it even hits me. But whatever. Right, so we've got ourselves a Sneasel to capture. Might as well uh, try and capture you. And now I'm starting to have second thoughts because... I don't know if I want to go with Sneasel or um, Glaceon as my main, like as an ice type Pokemon. Especially considering Sneasel is also able to use Dark type moves quite effectively as well. Well, we'll capture it anyway. Okay, you're tough. You are tough. Alright. Okay, okay. Okay, you're not going to be uh, easily caught, are you, uh, Sneasel, are you? My speed fell, not that it matters, because you've already used agility. Uh, no, we don't want to fight, so it just broke straight out of that Great Ball. We'll try an Ultra Ball, I've got quite a few Ultra Balls. But chances are, I might have to, uh... I probably sh Oh, wow! Again, break straight... Breaks out straight away? Dang! Sneasel, come on, you don't want to join the, uh, you don't want to join Team Awesome? That's a lie, we're not called Team Awesome. <laughs> Might as well just call our team, uh, well, out of my, uh, Mystery Dungeon team. We'll call ourselves Team Dynamo, because why not? We'll try one more Ultra Ball, and if that doesn't work, then I will ignore you. Ooh, we actually shook a few times that time. Okay. I know obviously Steelzel can evolve into a Weevil, but I think if it holds a certain item, and I can't remember what that item was. Of course Fury Swipes does five times. Of, uh, that hits five times. So I'm, I'm, I'm against an AI, of course I, it was. Okay, we'll try one more, and if it breaks out, uh, we'll just uh, run away from it for now. Nope, never mind, cancel that, Sneasel was caught, nice. Okay, Sneasel was caught. And uh, let's have a read of your Pokedex entry, and that reminds me, I think there's a few Pokedex entries I have not yet read. Hmm, but I'll worry about that another time. Anyway, yeah, Dark and Ice type. Ooh, that could be useful. Sneasel, the Shark Claw Pokemon. Shark Claw Pokemon? Huh. Shark Claw. Weren't they the name of one of the, uh, the uh, dinosaur tribes on Star Fox Adventures? The Shark Claw. Huh, how about that? A smart and sneaky Pokemon. A pair may work together to steal eggs by having one lure the parents away. Ooh, that is sneaky. Okay, so, oh yeah, transfer the box too. So we got ourselves a Sneasel, not too bad at all. And yeah, I'm actually kind of 
potentially thinking about maybe using Sneez Sneasel instead of Glaceon. Although I think in terms, I think most Ice type moves, thinking about it, are like special moves. I think Glaceon would have the better stat in terms of, you know, in, in terms of like special attack to take full use of those uh, ice attacks. So, I don't know. Well, whatever. I'm glad I caught a Sneasel anyway. I like Sneasel. It's quite a cool Pokemon, actually. And Weevil's even cooler. Golduck? I wasn't expecting Golduck. That is really disappointing. I was not expecting Golduck uh, in this particular climate. So, in that case, then, I'm glad I have Hooks me. I mean, I could also could have brought out Torterra, but now let's try to look Dre a little bit. Level 38 as well, quite high level, but I'm not too worried because Torterra's already level 45, so I don't need to worry too much about any overly strong Pokemon. Just use Spark. And take care of this Golduck. No problem at all. Nice boost of experience points for Lucario there. Uh, this hail's going to be annoying. It's going to slow down. Oh, now you send out a Rapidash. Well, I don't really have a Pokemon that can take care of it because I have Golduck with me. Hmm. Ah, well, I might as well stick with Looks Right. Why not? Level 39, eh? Yeah, you're also slightly... This one's also slightly under level Pinkie Valley. Yeah, it evolves at level 40, doesn't it, Ponyta? But at least it's not as uh, under leveled as that one Rapidash very early in the game. That was crazy! <laughs> so that Fire Blast did some serious damage to Luxray. Uh oh, take down. Ooh, that was lucky, looks right. That was very lucky. Okay, I'm probably going to have to switch you. Oh no, you're actually going to get knocked out because of the hail. No! Oh, god damn the hail. I don't even know what Pokemon you're going to bring up next, so screw it. I'm going to bring back Rapidash. Ah. Of course I chose wrong because you have a Sudo Wudo! Right, Torterra it is then. God damn this hail. <laughs> oh dear! Haha, <laughs> you thought I kept a Rapidash out? Yeah, tough luck for you, Sudo Wudo. Right, raise a leaf. And I'm going to need to revive uh, Luxray. You survived that? My god, how the hell did you survive that? Yeah, it wasn't quite enough, but that's fine. I'll just use Crunch. Oh, of course, you're using... Wait, you're using Endure? I mean, obviously, that won't knock you out, but will you... Will that save you from the hail? Well, we're about to find out! No, it doesn't save you from the hail. We learned something today. <laughs> How about that? Uh, kind of a waste of an endure, really, because you got screwed over by the hail as well. So, yeah, sorry, Maria. Eat snowball, punk. That's very charming of you. Right, we need to do some major healing. So, good job I got plenty of revives. So let's just revive you. I'll use a Moo Moo Milk on Looks Right. And, yeah, I might as well just use a um, Moo Moo Milk on Torterra. Even though it won't quite fully heal you, it should heal you up uh, more than enough. So that's fine. There we go. 
just carry on along here and see what's what. Another item. Obviously, there's a path down below as well, so I need to check that out at some point. In fact, that's actually the path we need to check out uh, anyway. So, you know what? Let's backtrack and just talk to all the people that were up there and also see if we can encounter any new Pokemon. New Pokemon? No, oh, that's a shame. Alright, let's uh, take the low road now. So we're taking the high road, let's now take the low road. Talk to me! I'm an elite battler, but cold is my nemesis. Ah, uh, me too. I hate the cold. Ooh, Ambipom. I think this is the first time we've seen Ambipom. Okay, some of the Pokemon are definitely starting to get a little bit tougher around here, but we should still be okay. Oh dear, you missed! <laughs> Not good for you, Ambipom! We're gonna get hit by the hail, but that's fine. Let's just use Flame Wheel again. That should knock you out. Yes, it does. Nice! Hey, Porygon 2! Alright, okay. First time we've seen Porygon 2 as well. Nice! Ooh, yikes, you're level 40. Okay. You're level 40. Right, well, let's start with a flame wheel and. Damn it! Forgot, forgot about that. Well, that's annoying. Traced my ability! Just for that, I'm gonna stomp you for it. Yeah! At least you flinched, but unfortunately, it's not going to do me any favours. Also, yeah, I kind of boosted your fire-type moves. Go on, Porygon 2. I'd love to see you do a fire-type move. Go on. Go on. I challenge you to use a fire-type move, Porygon 2. Oh, what's that? You don't have one? Oh, dear. So, although I kind of screwed up a little bit, at the end of the day, it didn't really matter because... It's not as if you know any fire type moves. Also, screw you for knowing Recover. But whatever, Torterra to the rescue. Uh, just use a Razor Leaf for now. Ah, yikes, Signal Beam. Ah, that is not good. That is not good at all. Okay, well in that case then, I am not going to take any chances. Uh, just use Earthquake. Might cause a bit of an avalanche thinking about it, especially considering we're on the lower path. So, yeah. If we're suddenly buried in snow, then uh, yeah, I take full responsibility for that. <laughs> um, but no, we're good. Ugh. Believe it, new signal beam. <laughs> I'd rather be asleep in the lodge's bed. Yeah, I would as well. Although, if there is a lodge nearby, you know, just to uh, try and recover my Pokemon, that wouldn't be a bad idea. But let's just quickly heal up my Pokemon. Let's just heal up Torterra a little bit. So I might still need your help, seeing as you are by far my strongest Pokemon. Um, I was just going to run through here, but you know what? Let's have a quick look and see what Pokemon can be found around here. Uh, just another Sneasel. Might as well battle it, might as well give you a bit more experience for Rapidash. Yep, that Sneasel was not going to survive a uh, Flame Wheel there, so that's good to know. Uh, any other Pokemon appear around here? I'd have thought with this being up in this area, maybe something like, I think a Snova should appear around here. What about like? Ice type Pokemon could be found around here. Hmm. I'm trying to think now. But no, that's just a meta type, not gonna bother with you. Anything else new? Any other new Pokemon? Hello? Any Pokemon around here? I know it's chilly, but if most of you are ice type Pokemon, then it's not gonna be too bad. Ah, it's just I thought there is a snow bear here. Alright. Yeah, I can't really use your fire type moves. 
just like with Sneasel, but unfortunately Snowver, I believe, is, as well as an Ice type, you're also part Grass type, so that's not ideal. So I'll just have to use uh, Stomp again, and actually, one more Stomp. Hmm, that's going to knock it out, isn't it? Yeah, that's going to knock it out. I don't know if it's worth switching Pokemon. No, I'll tell you what, we'll leave Snova for now. But good to know that you're around here. Uh, so that is the stairs that, uh, yeah, that uh, just goes back to where we were. That's fine. Okay. Ooh, another bit that we can rock climb. Judging by the amount of rock climb, like, cliffs that I could see, I'm going to assume the HM for rock slide is available up around here. I don't think it's like uh, Soul Silver where Rock Climb was the last HM you ended up learning. Actually, Rock Climb is going to allow us to explore a whole bunch of areas because there was a bunch of uh, places that we could only use Rock Climb around uh, that hotel, wasn't there? Oh god, critical hit. Oh, I'm going to get knocked out by the sodding hail. Ah. Oh, I hate this hail. Right, okay, so... Could bring out Star... No, let's just bring out Lux Ray. I mean, I mean, you'll only do normal damage to Tropius, seeing as you're part Grass-type, but hey, at least uh, it might help with something. Let's just use Spark. Ooh, okay. Not quite knocked you out, but the hail will. So yeah, it's your turn to uh, get screwed over by the hail. Yep, a little bit of damage to Luxray, and ah, that is one Tropius knocked out. Nice bunch of experience points, though. Oh, yes, and Lucario is growing quite nicely. Growing stronger and stronger all the time. Well, I don't know, I mean, you want to keep warm in this kind of climate. Uh, yeah, a, a Pokemon's move will scale it. Uh, ooh, is this the Lodge? Oh, nice. Okay, we can actually uh, potentially heal our Pokemon. Yahoo! This lodge has seen better days, but relax, make, make yourself a home. Uh, yes. Make yourself a home? Yes or no. Okay. I think uh, would have made sense to say okay rather than yes, but whatever. I don't have thick fat like some Pokemon. That's why I'm bundled up in layers of thick glows. Uh, yeah, it um, halves um, certain moves, doesn't it? Yeah, halves the damage taken from ice and fire type moves. Right, so now that our Pokemon are fully healed, we can carry on, and at least I don't have to waste too many of my items, so we can just hang around here, which is all good. Uh, I am a nobody because I do not ski. I certainly don't ski in real life. Uh, anyways, looks like we're battling against uh, Edward. Oh, not Eddie. I could have called you Eddie the Eagle, but never mind. Anyway, you got yourself a sneeze, all right? Well, I'll be able to take care of it. And you know, I'm thinking about it. I probably still would prefer Glacial because I mean, most Ice type moves I think are like special type moves. Which uh, would suit Glacial more than Sneasel. But of course, Sneasel is also part Dark type, so it'll be able to take care of the Psychic type Pokemon as well. Ooh. I don't know. But, yeah, we'll worry about that another time. I think I still want to evolve Eevee into a Glacial. Anyway, another Snova. And the last one, yeah, the last one was level 33 as well. Probably Stomp's going to be too uh, strong for it, unless you've got higher than normal defense. I mean, if you do, I would gladly appreciate it, because I kind of want to try and capture you. Ooh, not quite. I think it's just a tiny bit over half damage there, so... I think one more Stomp is probably going to knock it out, isn't it? No! Okay, nice. That was just on the edge there. 
It must be down to, what, like, one or two hit points? Right, okay, so let's try and catch you. So let's use... Let's try using a Great Ball for now. Might as well use up some of these, because I might as well uh, get rid of all these Great Balls. I'm probably just going to start just using Ultra Balls. But, hey, Snova. Caught Snova with no problem at all. Bloody, so what was that Sneasel's problem? It took me uh, several Ultra Balls to capture it. Huh. Determined Pokemon, that Sneasel. Anyway, Snova, the Frost Tree Pokemon. Seemingly curious about people, they gather around footsteps uh, they find on snowy mountains. Huh. Interesting. And there we go, we got ourselves a Snova. Battle me! Battle me now so I can rush back to the lodge and uh, do a quick bit of healing. <laughs> Alright, Garrett, let's see what you have, Mr. Mime. Keep uh, using Rapidash for a little bit. Get you prepared for the next gym battle. You can use Reflect, that's fine because I'm going to switch to Ember. And finish uh, this Mr. Mime off with an Ember. Wow, he actually survived it, but uh, again, he won't survive the hail. He won't survive the incoming hail. I just imagine if you saw that in real life, like, get hit by a tiny bit of hail and you get knocked out. That's what that Mr. Mime experienced, but hey, Rapidash is now level 43. Nice. Ooh, Cypher. Hmm. Keep battling for now. I just don't know if I'm going to be quicker than this Cypher because obviously... Fire-type moves will be strong against you. Fire Blast? Hey, I actually managed to get it on target. Also, it turns out I am faster than uh, Cypher. That's always good to know. Yep, kind of wrecked the Cypher there. Hail continues the fall. What's your last Pokemon going to be, Garrett? Uh, Dusclops. Ooh, right, okay. We'll switch. Uh, hmm. <laughs> I'll just switch to Torterra. Thirty-nine dust clops. You have your pressure, but that's fine. I'm not worried about that. That was a that was a critical hit. I me. I hardly did any damage, and that was still a critical hit. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> ah, bad luck for you there, dust clops. And your defense fell. Willow Wisp. Oh, you jerk. Also, I forgot Reflect was still in effect, so no wonder Crunch didn't do that much damage, but ah, eh, whatever, it doesn't matter. Ah, oh, hurt by burn and hail, so I'm getting I'm getting hurt by both heat and cold. I, I hate to be Torterra right now. Uh no, just use Crunch. Screw it. I was thinking, you know what, we could just use a Razor Leaf, but you know what, screw it, let's just make sure we knock out Dusclops and uh, end the battle, so I can at least head back to the lodge. And uh, rest up, and in fact, thinking about it, I think I'm going to be ending this recording session very soon. But let me just quickly heal up my Pokemon. And just chill out, sit in front of the TV. And, uh, you know, just take a little rest in uh, this little lodge before I continue uh, my journey towards Lake Acuity and Snow Point City. And that's pretty much what I'll be going to be doing next time. But for now, thanks very much for watching, everyone. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And until next time, I shall catch you all later.